Now, one of the finest new gardens in the country is to be created in Dorset. The prestigious scheme is being funded by English Heritage as part of a half-million-pound scheme of improvements at Portland Castle. Our reporter, Jonathan Hudson, has been to see what's planned. The idea began a few years ago in the grounds of an old castle in Kent, with a garden designed as a tribute to the Queen Mother. This was so successful, English Heritage decided to create ten more modern gardens in historic settings. The only one in the southwest will be in Dorset, at Portland Castle. The castle was built in the 1530s, during the reign of Henry VIII, the guard against invasion. A few decades on, it was commanded by Sir Walter Raleigh. Today, its future is being shaped by the garden designer, Christopher Bradley Hole. Only a designer would think of that. <laughs> well, I always try to avoid symmetry. I like this building is symmetrical. But the main job is transforming this rough area. Mr. Bradley Hole's plans were picked out because they took into account the curved simplicity of the castle itself, its windswept position by the sea. That was part of the inspiration for this amphitheatre space, this clear circular space set in the middle of this irregular walled form of the garden. And um, what we want to do is create a very pure space, which I think it will. I think it'll be a dramatic space because of the planting, the light, the exposure to the wind, and I think all those will pr produce a, a very interesting mix. I think. will incorporate Portland stone, a material Mr. Bradley Hole has used before. Five years ago, he won top prize at the Chelsea Flower Show with this modernist garden inspired by the life of the Roman poet Virgil. A similar mix of the classic and the new will soon enrich Portland. It's meant to be something that can be enjoyed today, but that will be of such quality that it will become tomorrow's heritage. And people in several hundred years will look back and say, right, at the millennium, Portland was selected and already the effect is that we're having permanent full-time jobs at the castle and uh, we're helping the economy. English Heritage is spending nearly half a million pounds at Portland Castle, but it's paying off. The number of tourists has tripled and it's hoped even more will be attracted by the promise of history and beauty. Good to see the finished project, won't it?